Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. I just finished recording an episode that you will never see. <laughs> it was, I genuinely think, the worst video of Isaac I've ever recorded. It was horrible. I just, I didn't enjoy any of it. I'm so stressed out. It, it was just gross in every single way. So, I'm going to break it down to you. I played as Jacob and Ease out. Already off to a terrible start. These characters are the worst. I, I genuinely think I'm never going to play them ever again. I think I'm just going to do the completion mark. I, like, I'm going to cheat the completion marks or something because I, I do not want to touch these characters. The mixture of the larger hitbox plus like the added difficulty in enemies of Fiend Folio plus the fact that the game lags way more as these characters just makes them nearly unplayable. Um, or I'd, I wouldn't say unplayable unenjoyable for me um so that happened i got like halfway through my run i missed an item room because i didn't have a key i then got an item room on the um who should we play as while i'm while i'm chatting shit here um let's just do it with um i then got an item room on downpour that had been specifically designed in a way where it was impossible to get both items as Jacob and Ezel, which whoever did that, thank you for that. And the item I did get was Peeper's Eye. The item I didn't get was Ghost Pepper. So I was a little ticked off by that. Um, I then got telefragged by a stalagmite type enemy. Uh, do you know what? I should pop this. Uh, by like a stalagmite type enemy and lost my, uh, ow, lost my angel deal. Um, and at that point, I just called it quits. I'm like, nope, I'm not playing this run anymore. I just stopped playing it altogether. So I was like, no, nah, okay, no more Jacob and Ezer. I, I like, I, I wasn't even close to death, but I'm like, nah, not having it. This run's bullshit. I'm, I'm, I'm leaving. I quit the run and I was like, okay, let's just go do a challenge run. Let's just go ch do a challenge run. And I was like, easy, easy challenge run. I did, it's all in the cards. Uh, which is the challenge room where you get a uh, tarot, uh, the deck, deck of cards and like a bunch of different charge items So you can just use a bunch of different cards all the time to unlock Super Meat Boy And it's only to mum's foot, really easy challenge, was going fine And then I faced off against, um, I don't even remember the name of the, of the mini boss Do you know the one that's Ed, that's got the little Edmund baby and the big dude that, that pukes green stuff I can't even remember what that boss is called now, what the hell is it called? The one that drops the left hand I came across like the ultra version of him and got damn. He like, he has like a chance to do like his green puke or like fire homing shots. He, he does not care about the green puke attack. He just fired barrage after barrage after barrage of homing shots that all do full heart damage. And like every single one of them hit me. And oh, I, like I'm, I am, I am angry now. I, I feel so Honestly, I'm so frustrated. I'm so frustrated. And like, I died and I'm like, it, it was like 20, like 25, 30 minutes into the episode. And I'm like, like, what the fuck do I do now? Like I was, I was saying in the video, I was like, like, what, what do I do? I just try the challenge again or, but I was like, nah, this episode was just nearly unwatchable. It was basically just me having a crybaby rage the entire episode. Um, and rightfully so, I'll, I'll be honest. I, I feel vindicated in my in my baby rage. But I was just like, no, like some people like the rage, the, the rage sort of comedy of it, but it was just, it can't have been enjoyable to watch that. Like I, I cook, cooked you with a half episode that I just quit halfway through and then I failed a really easy challenge. And I'm just, I'm just seething with rage right now. I really am. Like I, I genuinely think I will never ever play Jacob and Ezel ever again. I just despise them. They're not even remotely fun. Like, ooh, kind of interesting. There's a boss item, kind of interesting. Um, okay. Also, for some reason this has been revealed and I don't really know why. That would be pretty good to get. But yeah, I just, oh my god, I'm just, ah, the anger is within me. 
deeply. I'm gonna take a gamble here and uh, bomb this so I can smelt my trinket. Don't know where to use my other cracked keys. Beautiful stuff. Yeah, I'm not quite sure where to use these. Why does it why does using a cracked key reveal the secret rooms? Weird. I mean I like it, but it's strange. <sighs> Enough about my failures. Anyways, on today's episode, what's the most recent thing that got you that annoyed or that mad? I, I this is this feels like a question that comes up a lot, but. Oh hello. Um this is a big shit as well. Uh please don't hurt me, dips. Not exactly the best item, it's too pretty average boss items, but they're free. I still have one red key left, so... I'm guessing I can take both. Yeah, I can. Good. Not bad at all. And there's a giant shit in here too, which is pretty damn awesome. Uh, right. Yeah, it reveals our secret rooms to us. Maybe that's like part of the item or something? Let's just check what our shop item actually was. I do have enough to buy it now if I'd like to. Three random objects on pickup spawn one object at the start of every floor. That's not very good to be honest. The objects can be like all sorts of different stuff and there's a few of them that are really good but a lot of them that are kind of meh. Anyways, down we go. We got one more crack key to try and get another red room here. Don't exactly know where I should be looking, but I'm sure we'll figure it out along the way. <sighs> I've, I've got to calm myself down. Like, do you know when you just get like so mad that it just like affects you for the rest of the day? Isaac does not do that to me often, but I, I'm like mad at myself for wasting so much of my own time. It's like half an hour of my day just gone for no reason. Uh, I'm, I'm mad at the game for just screwing me uh, a few given opportunities. Mainly that fucking um, room in uh, Downpour that was specifically designed to not let Jacob and Ezel get both items. It was obviously a modded room and I'm just like, what evil little shit decided that was a fun idea? Like, it's like the only thing that is fun about Jacob and Ezel is that you get doubled items on those floors. It's like his only deal and you take it away from me. How dare you? How dare you be so criminal? Just despicable behavior. Um, and it, it made me very mad. And especially the fact that the item I did get was so bad and the item I missed was so good. Really, really rubbed a bit of lemon and juice into that wound. It really did. Um, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll double up here because these guys are kind of annoying. And it's just, it's just got me feeling, it's got me feeling some kind of way. It's got me feeling some kind of, I'm definitely going to have to go for like a nice stroll after this to like clear my head a little bit. Oh, people don't understand the, the, the struggles. I can never remember how to exactly use this. Isn't it like if you have an empty heart container, you get a heart container on the next floor or something. Either way, it's good if I remember correctly. Um, I don't really know where we want to use our cracked key here. I haven't really thought that far ahead. I mean, that annoyed me, but at the same time, I'm glad to have not had to do the rest of this room. I'll pop the world here to uh, find our secret room. Also, it gave us a bunch of these guys, which is quite nice. Okay. Do we have a red key target? I mean, so far I've not seen a single wall where it's available to us, which is confusing. There's like no red... Like, let me just drop the crack key a minute. There's like no red door walls at all, which is, yeah, as I said, confusing. Oh, there's one. Okay, these little rock dudes are kind of sick.
Might have to just use it on the only wall that's available to us, you know. Let's do our boss first, though, because we've got a lot of shit going on with these guys. Oh, wow. It just literally insta-killed. Uh, I'll go Devil Deal here. I've got reasonable HP. Um, I will take this, this, and this. Good stuff. Little Abaddon, just because we can double him. It's not exactly the best thing to double, but we can double him. Um, yeah, I'll try this out. Oh, God damn it. Unfortunate. Tis a shame, tis a shame. We should go back and check out our shop, because we have a buttload of money right now. But yeah, the success of this run is certainly uh, changing my tune slightly. I'd like it if we got, like, Dr. Fetus or something to allow us to take advantage of blowing up rocks a little more often. I know that that's not exactly a small, uh, small order to ask, but it would be nice. Ooh, BFF, thank you. Um, I'll also open up you. You've got nothing. I'll open up you. You've got Tower of Cloth. I'll take Tower of Cloth, thank you. The world again around the world. This actually affects my rock spiders as well, and BFF affects Incubus, I'm pretty sure. Really, 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 really good shop there. Okay, the, the game has been kind to me for its past sins. It has realized its its mistakes, and it is paying penance for, uh, penance even. Is it penance or penance? I don't know. Um, For its sins. I'm glad. Hopefully it keeps up with this, because I, God knows I need it. Hey, there's that empty heart container, lovely. We've got a sleepy time book. I can't remember what this world, uh, tarot cloth world does. I don't think anything, does it? I think maybe I have to have a mod to make it do something, and I for some reason don't have that mod. Dude, why does this item haunt my fucking dreams? I, I swear I see it, like, every single run. It's, leave me alone. Just stay away from me. I don't want none of your chicken wings. I can't believe we've got this many of these rock spiders left after, like, that many rooms that we've gone through. It's kind of crazy. These things are insane. Like losing that black hat was one of the best things that's ever happened to me. And the fact that they leave blue spiders behind as well, they're kind of like two turns. Got a key back, good, good. I love the way, the way that the Ethereum dude gets like a full Ethereum ring now, it's no longer a thin one. The fact that I've, I've got this with um, the child leash as well makes this real heckin' good. Oh shit, I forgot I couldn't hurt you. More money. Gotta love it. And here. How is this the regular secret room? It's not attached to any rooms. Weird. Very strange, in fact. That's not the second secret room. That's exactly how the second secret room should be spawning, but that's not the second secret room. Taking some bad damage here. But I ain't too worried about it. Oh, what the fuck? Left that guy with just his body. I've never seen that before. Oh my god. Okay, we th this run's stonking. This run's so good. We also got a Tinted Rock Boy there as well, a few of them. Another world card. Three world cards in a row, baby. Beautiful. The world. This out. We can at least open this. Very nice, with a dice shard as well. That is rather generous. Yeah, I want more bombs. I want to be able to, like, create, a, like, an absolute army of these geezers. There you go. Thought I'd bomb it, and then the troll bomb kind of helped me out there. Right. Let's see what boss item we've got available to us here. 
very, very good. Weird that, like, the two, um, the two little Abaddons have, like, different styled charge bars. Holy shit. This was, like, the most successful room ever. It gave us so much HP. I'm in my happy place now. The game has really, really given it back to me. Consumes all items and pickups in the room. Each pickup has a 50% chance to turn into a wisp. Pedestal items guaranteed to give five special wisps based on the room. I doubt that's something I'm going to use because I just, I'd rather have the item, I think. But I could use it on some consumables, I guess, and some pickups. Moon card. Guillotine. Normally, I wouldn't take this, but technically it does count as a familiar, so I feel like it's worth it. Also, I don't fire from my head, which makes things a little easier. I don't even think I want to go to that dice room. Um, let's go with this. Why not? The fortune things are kind of annoying, but it's also funny. Deep pockets. I like it. Thank you, thank you. Okay. So much shot speed, it's kind of insane. Um Yeah, let's just do the boss. Oh my god. We are invincible right now. Another really good item too. Right, just go down. I realized I had some extra stuff to do on that floor, like the dice room, but it's just going to give me like a full room reroll that I don't want. The only thing I could really want out of that is probably a five room. This is going to be an annoying room because he's going to destroy all of my babies. Yep. Because he's invincible. He's technically still an enemy, so he can just destroy all my friends. It's kind of evil. Kind of a, a bit of a horrible room for us there. I don't think I've ever used um, Little Abaddon this effectively before. Look, Penny there's rather nice. Would like to use this dice shard this floor because I want to be able to carry cards with me. Rather than just a dice shard. We've lost a little bit of health along the way here, but it's not too bad. Dark rock there, thank you. A little bit of stats down everywhere else, but a pretty decent damage up. I'm happy with that. Good, good, good. Yeah, game has, game has won my favor. It's been kind to me. And it has won my favor. Right, just get my fame buddy in there. It's not even a fame. What's the item called that creates the dark, the dark rings around you? More of the void. It's more of the void and unlocks. I haven't seen that item in a really long time. It must be. Golden keys. Horrible, horrible room here. Yep, I'm probably just going to get hit a few times here. It's just, it is what it is. Probably have to go all the way back over there to get to my item room. Nope, I'm not. Right as I was saying at the game, proved me wrong. Dice. Oh, what an insane reroll. <laughs> that is like the reroll of my dreams. A literally, not even a useless item, a more than useless item, an actively detrimental item, a terrible item, rerolled into one of the best damage ups in the entire game. Truly, truly splendid. I'm hardly having to use my, um, my box of friends here. 
Just, I just don't need the extra DPS in most rooms. It's just not necessary. I'm so strong. Good. Deep pockets filling us up as well. I've got golden keys. I might as well do this. Have I done boss rush? I have done boss rush as this character. I thought I had because it's like a really easy thing to do as this character. God damn, I hate the webs. I hate guillotine as well. Every single time I take it, I regret it. Every single time. But then again, if I'd not taken guillotine, I'd have probably re-rolled it, and therefore I wouldn't have ended up getting Cricket's head, so in that way it was all worth it. Okay, yeah, reveal these guys. Look how big our tears are. It's obscene. Where's our shop at, by the way? I'm waiting a while for it. We're one-shotting most things at this point. Oh, that's a, a very interesting fortune. Just a fuckload of question marks. I am getting hit so often. I told you I'm playing like trash at the minute. It's what is what happened last episode, uh, in the in the forgotten episode as well. I was just playing genuinely terribly. Um, and it is it's clearly carried over. Luckily the game is letting me get away with it at the moment. This is an XL floor, so if you wanna find out of the item room, which we just did. Nice. Lead pencils, real good. Real, real good. Although, not one minute. Okay, no, it does work. I was thinking maybe it wouldn't work because we were firing with Incubus, but it's accounted for. Don't worry about it, it's accounted for. Even these enemies are getting one shot. Yeah, guillotine is getting me hit so fucking much because I just can't tell. You don't look at your character's body. You always look at your character's head. So I'm always a little bit off on where the fuck I'm, I am. Give me another dice shard. Another dice shard, but a lot more. Oh, well, I say a lot more money. Basically, we're back to where we started. I think we're on 24. We're now at 26. There. Come on, shop. Where are you? This is ridiculous. I know it's an XL floor, but like, come on now. You're gonna have to be the furthest possible distance away that you can be. Right. I think it's got to be down this thin, ho uh, thin corridor here. Uh, well, I'm hoping it's just at the end of the thin corridor, to be honest. It is good. Okay, please be worth it. We went to so much trouble for you. Um, I guess. We get two of these, which give us black hearts, so I don't know if having two of those does anything. Probably not. But the two black hearts, kind of nice. Right, let's get the hell out of here. It's taking too long. We actually do have time for boss rush here as well, and I'd, I'd, I'd kind of like to do it. And the Fallen as well, great stuff. Ceremonial Blade. Uh, when shooting, chance to launch a piercing dagger that does no damage but inflicts bleed. All enemies die when uh, while bleeding will drop. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, um, and then we're just going to go this way. Check this out real quick. Okay, uh, Torn Wings. Whenever an item spawns, 25% chance it'll be pulled from the Devil Pool instead. Um, I'm going to take that, and then I'm going to take Empty Vessel as well. A little bit risky, I realise, with our HP, but I'll be fine. Pride Pin's really good here. Probably just take Pride Pin here. I'm a little bit annoyed that I have to go over the spikes to get to it, mind you, but... Hey, we got a little brim. Pride pin is kind of insane right now. Oh 
my goodness. The power we have unfurled right now. These two shots are just loony tunes. They're fucking crazy. Look how many charges up we got here. The teeth shot. They're just annihilating everything. Finish you off. Oh my god. I don't even need to use my Ethereum. Look at that. Look at that Ethereum circle. More of the void circle. What do you want to call it? Ooh. Some blood. Oh, sadly they don't just use it. I was hoping they'd just like automatically get used when you walk over them. Sadly, that's not the case. <laughs> oh, wow, oh, wow. Very easy boss rush here. Very easy boss rush indeed. Fortunately, we do have some runaways here. Look at all the heads I have. The, the, the fortunes are getting a little annoying, I'll admit. But we can always find another trinket. Laser beams. Oh, the charge bars. I can't believe we got little brim from, uh, from what's it called? In what, what the hell is the item called? Immaculate Conception? Um, Cambion Conception? That's the one. Immaculate's the angel one. Heals you for one heart if you have ceremonial robes. I very much do. So if I get any red hearts, that's kind of interesting. And then we get Star of the Bottomless Pit to end this off. That's absurd. Let's go, fellas. Okay. This run... This run slaps. <laughs> now, our health is a little bit dire right now. But we just saw that we're going to get red hearts. And these things are going to heal us for one heart. That's so good to know. Like, we're going to get red hearts every floor and they're going to keep pro uh, keep popping. Sacrificial blood. Ow. Very, very bad hit there. Literally no reason for that to ever ever happened. That was even worse. I just let that guy walk directly into me. Okay. Let's be careful here. We do have Guppy's Collar, but I'd rather not have to use it. But it's looking very likely because... God damn, my feeble little brain doesn't know how to do things. Please don't. I hate myself. Why am I so terrible at this game recently? Like, so unfathomably fucking awful at it. Oh, it's, oh, it's getting me down. This was a good run. I had some stuff going on, it was looking real cool, and I just got hit in like every single room. And then the 50-50 chance to bring me back to life was like, lol, I see you're in pain, I see you're having a bad day. Just what if I, what if I did this little, uh, little prankaroo and didn't revive you? Oh god. I could just do the revive thing, but this was a legitimate death. Like, it's not really like the Holy Mantle mirror room one I had before. I, this is this is definitely my own fault. Oh, the other one was my own fault too, but that one was more justified. This one kind of isn't. But the episode's not very long. I clearly need a break. Or either, I either need a break or I need to play way more of this game, because I... Just terrible at it. Also, get this into your thick skull. Never take guillotine, it's always bad. Never fucking take it. Every single time I think, oh, this time it'll be different. 
This time it'll be, no, it's always awful. You always take it and you always get hit because of it. Because you can't see where your goddamn body is. Oh, anyways. <sighs> I started off with a lot of rage. The game mellowed me out and the rage has come full circle. Um... I wonder how wide my window opens. I could just jump straight out. Now I'm only on the second floor, I wouldn't do enough. Anyways, <laughs> I'm joking. Um, oh my god. I'm just angry at myself for just, I don't know, I just, I, I just feel like, I, I wasn't even taking unnecessary risks there. I guess maybe the devil deals were unnecessary risks, but I just, just can't play this game at the moment. I got hit so much on the run you never saw, and I got hit so much on this run. I mean, it's mainly because of guillotine, but it's my fault that I got hit. It's my fault I took the eight. Oh, God. Not having a good time. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed regardless, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.